Hey guys, Pizio here and I'm back with another video and today in this video I'll be showing you guys how you can remove your viruses from your Windows 10, Windows 8 or Windows 7 PC or basically from any computer. So I'll be sharing 4 or 5 methods with which you can get rid of all the viruses in your computer and delete all the viruses. So for this we will be using CMD which is command prompt and uh, one software which I will show you at the end of the video. So make sure to stick around till the end and also if you want to check out how you can increase the speed of your windows pc make sure to check this video which is shown on the i button right now and i'll also make sure to link it in the description so you can check it out later so without further ado let's get started with the video so first off what you have to do is press windows button and r if that's too complicated for you, just press the start button and type in run. Hit enter. Now here you have to type clean MGR. I'll make sure to write all these uh, codes in the description and also on the screen right now so, it, so it's easier for you to see and copy. Hit enter. Now here it will ask you for the drive that you need to clean up. So here it will ask you the drive that you want to clean up. So basically here you have to select the drive that you use the most. So the drive in which you have installed all your softwares and all your games or any of the data or the file that is installed on your PC or kept in your PC, you have to select that. In most cases it's C drive but make sure to select the one that you use the most. Or you can just apply these to all of the hard drive partitions that you've made. So once the drive is selected click on OK. And now it will show you all the files that you, that can be deleted. Just click all of them. And once you've selected all of them, just click on OK. Just make sure that you don't have anything in your recycle bin that is that you need. So just make sure to check your recycle bin before deleting all the content. The rest of this can be deleted. Just click on delete files and it will clean up your disk. And here you will see bunch of files that are stored as cached. Whenever you open up a program, it can be started quickly. Just make sure to delete these from time to time. Select all and click delete. And don't worry none of your personal data will be deleted. If you see an error like this file in use just make sure to click skip and you're good. Next up we'll again press windows and R button. And now you have to type in T-R-E-E, -E, which is tree. So this is basically a CMD command which automatically deletes all the unnecessary files that are on your computer. The command will run in, in a matter of seconds and you won't be able to see it. So once you have typed T-R-E-E, -E, just hit enter and that's it. Click on the start button, type in CMD, run the app that comes up, run it as administer by right clicking on it and then clicking on run as admin. Press yes. Now here you have to type in a command. It is called SFC spacebar backslash scan now and hit enter. So what this does is it repairs all the corrupted files and it infected files that are on your PC and the files that it cannot repair it will recommend you to a website from where you can repair them so wait for this to complete and I'll just fast forward this video okay so once that's done as you can see it shows for online repair details are included in the CVS file located at 
located at this address. So you can go ahead and check this file up. But there's no need for that. So I'm just going to go ahead and click close. So the last thing that we're going to do is go on to your soft uh, go on to your computer browser malware bytes or I'll just leave the link to this in the description so you can just easily go ahead and click on the download button from there go ahead and click on free download the software will be downloaded to your PC next up uh, go on to your downloads folder go into the programs or wherever the uh, file is downloaded and just run it computer click install skip and it should start installing Click on get started, maybe later, click on get started again and you will get a 14 days free to use version of this product and after 14 days you will have to pay a premium which is somewhere around. So yeah once this app is opened what you have to do is click on scan and it will scan your PC for any malwares or threats that there are on your computer and it will make sure to get rid of all of them so as you can see it's it checked it checked for updates on my pc now it's checking my mem uh, memory next up it will check the startup items then the registry and the files and the system files so i'll again fast forward this video as this might be quite boring to watch Okay, so once the scanner has scanned all the files, you can see the items that have shown a threat, they will be listed amongst item detected. And as you can see, my computer has 33 of those threats. Just go ahead and click on quarantine. So the threats of these apps will be removed and they will be put in quarantine. And once that's done, click on done and you can close this app. So that's about it for this video guys. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. If you did, make sure to give this video a like. Make sure to share this video with your friends so they can keep themselves safe from any kind of viruses on their PC. And if you want to see how you can increase the speed of your PC or your internet, you can check these videos out which are linked in the description. And I'm Vizio and I'm signing out. Just make you cry And I don't wanna fight with you I would rather lie to you